Hi, my name is Kai Ying. I'm uh, doing my undergraduate here in Korea and I've come to Inspired Steps to learn how to cook a few Korean dishes because as a college student I need to learn how to cook, right? And um, we're told to try to make a fusion food between Singapore food and Korean food and what I learned was how to make pajan. And so it's kind of similar to chai tao kue that we have in Singapore but um, I won't be making a direct um, mix between the two because obviously as a college student here I don't have the ingredients, um, the limitations of equipment so I'm just going to attempt to make a fusion food and yeah I hope you like it. It's gonna be um, like the base is chai tao kue but I'm not gonna make it into a cake and it's gonna replace the usual Korean pancake mix. Yeah so I hope it turns out well. Yeah, gonna teach you. I'm gonna make a fusion between pajon and chai tao kui, but it's not really, it's not really um, a perfect fusion because I have limitations on ingredients and yeah. But I happen to be lucky enough to meet a few Singaporeans on the way who have ingredients. And as you can see here, I have. Um, sauce from my Vietnamese friends um, and oyster sauce as well and Russian from my friend's grandmother special shout out to Alyssa Wee's grandmother yeah she misses you a lot and this is Chai Pho from uh, Pauline Tan I met her at Singapore club and Singapore Soul Club and she's just nice enough to pass it to me yesterday yeah okay Right now, I'm slicing the radish into about half a centimeter thick uh, uh, strips like this. Some people grate the radish, but uh, according to I eat, I shoot, I post, I'm supposed to cut them into strips so that it's more crunchy. Yeah, so this should be done while the water is boiling. Actually, you may want to do the carrots first because you save time. This is too big. Carrots in first. Maybe about five minutes later, then you put the radish so that they cook uh, to the to a similar um, strain. I don't know. Break about two eggs. No, break two eggs. Yeah. You know, like Koreans always use chopsticks for everything. Can you chopsticks into cakes as well? And you want to prepare the spring onions. I'm using two roots. Not really that much because. Um, it will interfere with how the pancake can stick. So first off, cut off the roots. You want these. And then make sure you wash it well. All the way. Korean eat so much pa. This is called pa. The front just cut off um, where it ends. Just about cm after. And then cut it into about um, an inch thick. I'm using rice flour, the Korean brand, but I, I think it should work the same. Yeah. 350 grams, 350 ml of water, the radish in as well. You want to cook them until they turn a bit translucent. So we're going to use all of this. Usually people will sift it, but I don't think it matters that much. You just get a big thing bowl and pour all of it in. Get the water and you want to pour it in slowly to make sure that uh, to make sure there are no lumps. This just mix as you go. A little bit more mix. Check on the radish. 
it's not overcooked because you want to maintain that a bit of a bite. So you don't want it to be too soft. I think it's made look very thick now to be a batter, but you're going to add it into that. So you don't want to add too much water as well. I think I added about 200 ml more. And then to this you add about a teaspoon of salt. This is sea salt, I believe, and sugar. It's about one teaspoon. One teaspoon of this. Okay. And then you stir it in. So I can do this, uh, we'll start, I'll just we'll have to Add the pa into the batter. Once again, this is spring onions. Is it tong? I'm not sure. You can see that the radishes are a bit translucent now. You want it to be a bit softer than this, so when you push it, it can like bend easily. So I'm gonna let this sit for a bit more. You can see that the radishes are more flexible, they're softer now. So I'm going to start adding the rice flour mixed in. So once again, just add one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of sugar, and about two roots of spring uh, onion. I know this is a bit strange, it's neither like Singaporean or Korean, but I try to put as much Singaporean flavour in it. So if you want to imagine how pajon would taste like as carrot cake, then yeah, you can try this out. So I'm going to turn the heat off so that no more water disappears. Okay. I'm going to mix it well so that the radish and carrots are even. Minced yeah. garlic. Yeah, that's about it. I'm using this from my friend. This is from Singapore, Chai Po, as you can see. It's actually pickled radish. Or some of them use pickled turnips. Okay, it's browning already. Getting a bit burnt. Okay, we'll add the Chai Po here. This is about, let's see, two tablespoons of Chai Po. This is gonna be where all the flavor comes from. You can see all the oil is almost soaked up. You're gonna add a bit more sugar. Just a bit. Okay, when it, you see the juices have come out, it's a bit soft now. I'm just going to uh, take out about three quarters of it and put it into it looks like a lot because it is a fried turn of fritter. Alright, then we broth it. Yeah, you know, it's really good. It's You want to add about one tablespoon of oyster sauce. <laughs> this is going to make the shrimp taste so good. Into the pancake mix. 
just so that it can be more evenly spread out. I'm just going to bring this over. So that it doesn't stick. to spread over the pan. Yeah. Alright, take about one scoop of the batter and just plop it over everything. You got a complex dish there. Sounds good. Who is the turkey on? I think that's the beer smoke there. Flatten it out. It's going to be a big fat cake. Okay, well, you like these now? Usually for Thai Tao Kui, they will steam it in a, in a, in a pot first. Or you can even try rice cooker, but I don't have that right now, so this is going to be my improvisation. There you go. Okay. And it's pretty much done already. Just flatten it out. Yeah. And then add another tablespoon of quinoa. Okay. Just to make it stick better. Few tablespoons actually. Okay, maybe in the more egg then. Pretty much done. Just lay it on the seat. This is Korean style Thai Tao Kui. Okay, you just combine the Hyam, the soy sauce. And this will be your dipping sauce for the carrot cake. Okay. Okay, this is the um, Chai Tao Kui carrot cake Pajon fusion, not so fusion. With even like KB Hyam inside. I tried to make it as Singaporean as possible, but yeah. This is it. It's done in about 15 minutes. So, pretty easy meal to do at home. You don't need expensive ingredients. You just find whatever you have at home.